Okay, everybody, let's go on a geo ramble on four wheels, of course, here in Apia Samoa. And we'll talk about it in class afterwards. Let's just enjoy the ride for now, shall we? Except to say that um, we're here on the edge of the town. This is the peri urban area, and much like many um, Pacific cities, it's difficult to discern between urban and rural and the definition of urban is blurred and varied across the world but anyway sit back and enjoy the ride up here Samoa Okay, you're allowed to turn left here if there's nothing coming. <laughs> I'm not going to break the law on uh, geo rambles. So this uh, kind of bypass here is quite new, as you can see, built by New Zealand contractors, I believe, with um, money from New Zealand Aid, apparently. Love. I hope you're enjoying the ride so far here in Apia Samoa on our Geo Ramble on four wheels, part of our virtual field trip to Samoa. We just have to be patient. Take on that gentleman's part, but never mind. So we're getting closer towards the centre now, as you can see. Got some kind of 
services and small industries mixed in with residential and other land uses. It looks like that boy's in a little bit of trouble with his sister. Don't know what he's done. Police cadets here. This is the police station, which is right next to the New Zealand High Commission. We're passing the the main wharf here, the main port area. Apia's a natural harbour that's the main port of the country. And we're now on Beach Road, which is waterfront route passing the Catholic cathedral, cathedral here which is absolutely impeccable and really quite beautiful the Vatican flag flying there and over here we've got the what used to be the main uh, Parliament buildings now government buildings in general sponsored by Digicel which is the same company as Vodafone. You'll see elements of globalization and localization going on all the way through the center of Apia as we pass the clock memorial here, which is a memorial to the First and Second World Wars, because the Samoa took part in both. On the side of the Allies in the second and mostly on the side of the Allies in the first. go along the main route what us effectively is the CBD the central business district with the banks some of the high class or high uh, end department stores and things like that see this kind of formation of buildings and land uses across the Pacific in city centres. It's quite similar to the centre of Suva in Fiji. And there's the, what they call the flea market, which has got handicrafts and things like that. Again, we're allowed to turn here, have no fear. <laughs> through the commercial district of Apia, which runs parallel to the uh, beach road. time of day and yes I was in the wrong lane there apologies to those of you who are sticklers for the road rules so it's quarter to three here in Apia just after lunchtime people going back to work. We 
we hit the rush hour in Apia Samoa, so traffic is a problem in many Pacific cities. Not designed for the motor car by any means. appropriate place to end our urban field trip in Apia Samoa is McDonald's which was one of the first ones to open in the Pacific the first was in uh, Tahiti the second I believe was in Suva I was there for that opening um, I didn't but people did queue for two miles around the block I'm not joking to get into McDonald's and uh, I must admit I went a few times as well because it was the only place with air conditioning at the time but then one opened in Apia and there are various other ones around the Pacific as well so globalization in action so I hope you enjoyed our field trip to Apia